Hello, it's Tuesday, a chilly Tuesday, and we're here with some, we're talking more charity drive with the overalls, which is good because when everybody came in last week, I mean, I was asking questions to the the prince and princesses, and it wasn't really fair of me because they just found out they were prince and princesses on Monday, and then they were here Wednesday. So I get to ask you guys all the good questions, and we have, we'll go from this side to this side. We have Brody. Say hi. Hi. And? Dana. And? Callista, Sydney. Hello. You guys can move those swing back and forth if you need to talk. So Mr. THS was last night. Yeah? Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. And how'd it go? It went really well. It was very successful. Very entertaining. Yeah. Yes, always. How many <laughs> contestants were there? Um, you can move that. See, look. look move 15. that mic. Yeah. See? Tricky. Move it over <laughs> to the side. Uh, there were 15 contestants, and Tyson O'Hagan was crowned Mr. THS. Yes. Outside of a crown in the uh, glory of being crowned Mr. THS, does he get anything? No? No, <laughs> not really. <laughs> but hey, that's, it's still fun to have, be like, yeah, I was that. What grade is he in? He's a sophomore. Okay. I'm going to tell you that your gum smacking is really loud on the radio. <laughs> it's like, there's a garbage can right behind you. <laughs> It's for loud microphones. Uh, so, what is our next? Uh, what's our next big ev- all school event? Um, it's donkey basketball, which is on Friday at seven in the main gym at the high school. Can you move that mic down towards your mouth? There you go. Uh, and that is against that is students competing against. I believe it's the, the creamery. creamery. Is that yes. what? Yeah, I think somebody said that last. Last week when you guys were in. Uh, so that'll be Friday. The game, does the game start at 7? Yes. The Now, is it, it's at halftime of a basketball game, right? No, it's its own yeah, event. Sorry. Okay, yeah. so so it starts at 7 o'clock. Uh, adults are $9, students are 7. And if you're wondering, if you've never been to Charity Drive or you haven't seen pictures and you're wondering, what is donkey basketball? It's exactly what it sounds like. Would anyone care to describe Oh, come on, girls. You've got to talk. <laughs> you can't come in for a radio interview and not talk to me. Yeah. Go ahead, uh, baby. So, donkey basketball is basically, again, like it sounds, it's you're riding on donkeys and playing basketball, and you're trying to get, like, a small basketball into the hoop. While you're riding a donkey. While you're riding a donkey. Yeah, which donkeys are not real. Um, they don't like to play basketball. So, it's funny to watch... Uh, these big people, because donkeys are kind of smaller, right? They're not like big horses. And so it's kind of funny to watch, um, yeah, people trying to get their donkeys. And they're stubborn, right? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Have any of you ever played it? Yeah. No? I have. Oh, you did? (laughs) Yes. Did you play last year? Uh Uh-huh. I'm pretty sure I played my freshman and sophomore year. Yeah, but not this year because you're an over or a chair. Uh, Yeah. Do you play basketball regularly? Yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> you're like, yeah, that was a real different. <laughs> um, do people actually make baskets? Oh, like, yeah. Yeah? Mm-hmm. Nice. Okay. They get really close, though. Not very far away. Shots, oh, yeah, sure. Close. Sure, yeah. <laughs> um, and I, do they put something down on the gym floor? Mm-mm. No? So it's just the, so if a donkey pees or poops on the floor, someone's got to clean it up? Yeah. Well, I guess they'd have to do that anyway if there was. By the way, Rochelle's in here. We should say hi to Rochelle. Hi, Rochelle. Rochelle Hello. Metcalf. Hello. <laughs> we would like to thank uh, Randy Remington and AJ Ping. They are our pooper scoopers at Donkey Basketball. Oh, For a very important many job. many years they have volunteered. Yes, that's a very important job. It is. So that's Friday uh, at 7 o'clock at the high school gym. Adults are $9. Students are 7 And there will be concessions there for all classes. Which, by the way, I just have to say, it's amazing when there's – because there's always concessions at the little concession counter. But when it's charity drive, you get like a smorgasbord of concessions <laughs> to choose from. So it's real nice. You go have dinner over there. Um, so let's back up to, let's see, today. What do we have going on today that we can talk about? Um, well, today there is obviously concessions at the basketball game, mm-hmm. and then we have a Mexican dinner, the freshmen do, at the cafeteria from 4 to 7, and the sophomores are going to be taking over yo time from 4 to 9, and the juniors have their rotary cake auction. Oh, yes, that's at the at, rendezvous today at, yeah, noon. at noon, and I saw, uh, I think Jennifer Garcello posted a couple pictures of cakes that she had. They look amazing. Do people make those at their house like are those because 
They looked yes. legitimately like professional cakes. I thought maybe she went and bought them, but no, people make them. Mm-hmm. Yeah. She made those. Yeah. They're, did you see them? Mm-hmm. Yeah. They the looked amazing. <laughs> it's a carrot cake and a chocolate cake and I can't, I don't know what the other one was, but yeah, it looks really good. So if you are interested in buying cake, and I know sometimes people walk out of there with like two or three cakes. <laughs> so you have cake for Valentine's Day tomorrow. Mm-hmm. Um and then there's a half... Do, did we figure out what the halftime event was? Do you guys know what it is? Um, I think it's something with balloons, but I don't know what. <laughs> Popping balloons, maybe? Do you know? So who's put, who's coordinating it? The juniors. The junior class. Okay. Now, Brody, you're a junior, aren't you? Or are you a sophomore? I'm a junior. You're a junior. So what is it? I don't know. Oh, come <laughs> on! You gotta know these things. Okay. And then uh, there's also flashlight tag. Yes. Um, in, is it in the field or in the gym? It's in the field. Good. Well, it's nice that it's been super sunny and hasn't really been raining. It might be a little chilly, but hopefully it will be uh, not wet because nobody likes chilly and wet. Cool. So that's all the stuff going on today. I have to say, last night as I drove through town, I saw the freshman out screaming on the corner for yo time. (laughs) I was like, it was like eight o'clock at night and I was thinking, what is that? Who's yelling? And then I got closer. Oh. The freshmen are out yelling for yo time. Uh, and then tomorrow, Valentine's Day, we have some fun activities going on. What's that happening? We have the steak dinner, and that is put on by the f- sophomores. Um, and there will be a silent auction there as well. That's at the Nazarene Church from 4 to 7.30. And then the freshmen are doing babysitting. So if you want to go to the steak dinner or do something Mm -hmm. for valentine's day the freshman will be babysitting at east school from six to nine and then the juniors are doing their yo time takeover tomorrow and the sophomores also have a kiwanis cake auction so if you don't happen to make the rotary cake auction today at the rendezvous you can do it at the kiwanis meeting tomorrow and get a cake for valentine's day or maybe you went to the rotary auction and didn't win a cake you could win a cake tomorrow so yes, there's uh, Valentine's is tomorrow, and are do you know are the classes still taking orders for all the Valentine's goodies things? Yeah. yeah. So yeah, there <clears throat> is there's not like one local number that people can call, right? They have to call each class. Okay. So if you the freshmen are doing a Valentine plush toy with candy for five dollars, you can call eight one two four eight zero two. The sophomores are doing dipped pretzel sticks four for three dollars. You can call eight one two nine nine. Eight, six. The juniors are doing a Valentine's goodie bag, five dollars each. Eight one two six 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 one. And the seniors are doing Valogram balloons with candies for six dollars. Eight one two zero one three zero. Or you can go look in the shopper. <clears throat> if you didn't catch any of those numbers, look in the shopper, the headlight, the Pioneer online, right? Uh, and you can get those phone numbers off of the big, huge ad that's in there, because that's what we're looking at, is a copy of that ad. Uh, Okay, and then what do we have going on Thursday? I think Trivia Night sounds super fun. Can someone talk about it? I have no clue what the Trivia Night is. Well, it's Trivia Night. Okay, so you go and you play trivia with other groups. Um, That's at the Fern. That sounds like a lot of fun. Um, I know the Pelican does Trivia Nights, I think once a month or something like that, or every Wednesday. It's fun. If you think you're smart, it's a good time to find out if you actually are. Yeah. Uh, And then what else is going on Thursday? Um, The sophomores have a lasagna dinner at the Parish Hall from 4 to 7.30. And adults are $12, seniors are 10, and children under 12 are 8. And they have chairs for charity, oral auction at the Parish Hall from 6.30. And then you can call 503-812-5469. And they also have an East school activity at East at 3.30 to 5, and that would be $5 per child. And then the seniors have a Yo Time takeover um, from 4 to 9, and obviously it's the Yo Time menu. And they also have a skate party at the fairgrounds from 6 to 9. So Friday there's no school because there's a lot of things for kids to do after school on Thursday. And if you're thinking, like, well, don't they have school tomorrow? No, they don't. On Friday they don't have school. Uh, So, yeah, there's some stuff for kids to do. I think the East school... Uh, takeover that's right after school and that's just for east students right yes yeah. yes so. so it's just the kids at east um but i when oh, who was in was it mia mila mia mia 
and uh, Henry were in talking about it. It sounded like a fun time, a lot of different activities for them to do. Um, and then the skate party at the fairgrounds from six to nine and then adult stuff. So you could go to trivia night, drop your kids off at the skate party and then go to trivia night at the fern. That would totally work out. And then go pick up your lasagna dinner on your way home <laughs> from the sophomores. Uh, and then Friday is the donkey basketball, which is super fun. And then there's a couple of uh, food related activities. Can someone mention those? Brody, you haven't talked yet. Hi. Um, well, the freshmen have a spaghetti dinner at the THS cafeteria from four to seven. Um, and adults are eight dollars. Children under ten are um, are six dollars. And then seniors have box lunch delivery, and it's eight dollars. And call five zero three eight one two one six six zero to order. And then. And those are only delivered on that day. Yeah. Right. Yeah. <clears throat> and then they have a rummage sale at the fair. View Grange from eight to four, and it's all by donation. So, and Friday and Saturday is that rummage sale. They actually have it both days. Um, and I'm assuming I know I've seen things on Facebook where other classes have asked for um, donations and things like that. So, if you're cleaning out your closets this week or have you have like a load that you need to take to Goodwill, um, you can call. I think I feel like there was another. The freshmen are also having a rummage sale, right? Go ahead. The freshmen and the sophomores are, um, and the seniors are all having rummage sales. It's going to be at the Fairview Grange, East School, and at the high school cafeteria. Generally, from like some are eight to one is eight to four. Fairview Grange is eight to four. The high the cafeteria is nine to three, and East School is nine to four. So if you go kind of in those general times, yeah, you can go hit up three different uh, rummage sales on Saturday. Um, and if you do have something you can get a hold of, I'm sure, find a kid. Find a kid and ask him who to get a hold of because <laughs> the phone number is rattling him off on the radio is not a great idea. Um, okay, I'm going to take a quick break. We are going to talk about the co-op. Tillamook is farm country and nobody serves this farming community better than the co-op. Tillamook's country store. The co-op is actually three stores in one. Are you looking for work clothes, hickory shirts, work boots, rubber boots, rain gear, and gloves? The co-op has it. You'll find fencing, stock tanks, and everything from PVC to 18-inch culvert pipe in stock at Tillamook's Country Store. And no more hunting for that hard-to-find bolt. You'll find a complete selection, galvanized or stainless, whatever you need in standard and metric, O-rings, boat drain, plugs, they've got it all. Tillamook's Country Store treats you right. When you stop for fuel, your windows are always washed because they care about their customers. And the kids count, too. There's toy tractors, trucks, trailers, and animals for that young farmer in your life. Plus, the co-op has Purina feeds to help your livestock thrive. Offering quality products since 1936, Tillamook Farmers Co-op is Tillamook's Country Store. Uh, we're talking, you know, I don't think I introduced you guys as the chairs, the overall chairs and the junior chairs, but we are talking to the overall chairs and the junior chairs of Charity Drive. I want to get out of the mode of listing off um, events for a minute and kind of talk about your experiences because... Calista and Sydney, you were here last year, right, as the junior chairs. Yeah. So, and you know, it's funny because I don't ever get an opportunity. Usually everybody comes in all together and I get like two minutes. So I don't ever get an opportunity to talk to you guys about your experience from last year versus this year and kind of all the fun things that happen. So tell me, how crazy is your life for like the weeks leading up to this and the weeks of it? Uh, the whole year is crazy. <laughs> <laughs> well, wait, because it's your senior year or because of Charity Drive? A little bit of that. Um, when you're a senior overall, you have leadership all year. So we gotcha. start getting stuff ready in September rather than mm -hmm. like January. Or, right. <clears throat> um, and we start planning Charity Drive in like December, like really planning with mm -hmm. advisors and stuff. Mm -hmm. Um, I don't know. It's a lot different being a senior chair, I guess, because it's all on you. Like last year it was like, oh yeah, we have to do this. But like, if it doesn't mm -hmm. get done, you know, they'll take care of it. Sure. Uh, but this take year note, it's girls like, over there, junior yeah. chairs. <laughs> <laughs> this year it's, it's on us and everybody kind of knows if it doesn't get done, it's our fault. So uh, <laughs> <laughs> no pressure. So it's a lot more. Yeah. It's a lot more pressure than last year, but yeah. So, um, are you guys, cause obviously, you know, cause last year, like Brody and, uh, Dana know that next year they will be the senior chairs and kind of essentially running it with the help of the advisors, right? Mm -hmm. um, 
Do you have ideas like that maybe didn't make the cutoff for this year or maybe like over the summer you think, oh, hey, this would be a good idea. Are you thinking about those things? I mean, yeah, we have a list that mm-hmm. we did throughout the drive of all the things that we shouldn't do next year. And so then we just try to remember those things for next year to make it run more smoothly. And then do you have a list of like ideas that didn't make the cut or maybe didn't just work out for this year? Yeah. 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 And la- like last year we kind of – like, knowing that it was going to be on us next year, we wrote a lot of stuff down and already changed some things this year mm-hmm. that mm-hmm. didn't work out last year. It's a good idea that. to, like, pass that list down to people. Like, yeah. here, yeah. here yeah. is a checklist of things not to do and a checklist <laughs> of things to do. Yeah. Yeah. So you guys, is it part of the leadership class? Is that what you were talking about? Or you have to take a leadership class? Yeah, we get, like, a leadership period to kind of prepare everything. Oh, that's so. nice. So it's not like you're doing it off of school. I mean, I'm yeah. sure there is some off yeah. school time, but yeah. a lot of it's done in a class. Yeah. That's yeah, helpful. It's possible to do it all after school. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's helpful. So junior chairs, now that you've dipped your toe into this, are you stressed about next year? A little bit. <laughs> <laughs> now that you know what all is involved. Mm-hmm. Uh, how do kids get selected to be junior? And I don't know if Rochelle can talk about that or can they talk about it? So the kids after Charity Drive this year, we will have um, an application Mm -hmm. that kids can fill out that might want to be chairman for next year. And then we sit down, the four of us, or the five of us, the four of them and myself, and we interview Mm. the people who want to be chairman for next year. Mm -hmm. And so we ask them questions about Charity Drive, but we also ask them like silly questions like, you know, are you attached to your cell phone? Like, if I call you at 10 o'clock at night, are sure. you going to answer? Um, can you be at all the events? Mm-hmm. How, like, dedicated are you to Charity Drive? So we will interview them in March and select next year's gotcha. junior chairman um, so that we know who they are and can kind of start preparing them. Right. And then also put it on, like, the seniors get to be in leadership class starting mm-hmm. at the beginning of the year. The juniors come into leadership class second trimester. Gotcha. So, Like in middle of December-ish, beginning of December. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Uh, Yeah. Speaking of (laughs) being attached to your cell phone and available for all events, um, it's kind of a – I'm going to use the word time suck, but not in a negative way. But, I mean, you guys have to be a lot of places, right? Do you go to every – is there one of you at every event? Yes, usually all of us, unless there's multiple you try, events. Got gotcha you at the up. same time. Yeah. yeah. I know I saw you at the high tea auction, Brody. I saw you yeah. pull in the parking lot. I was at the church. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> yeah, so you're kind of like, hey, people, I don't have friends for the next 10 days, right? I don't yeah. have a personal life. <laughs> How do you get all your work done, like your homework done? And do all of you have jobs? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, so, so you have that yeah. on top of it. I don't have a job. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Are you looking for a job, Brody? <laughs> Maybe. Slowly. <laughs> uh, so you have schoolwork, jobs, your home life, and charity drive that you manage for 10 days. Yeah. I said it last week and I'll say it again. It's super preparing you to be an adult. Just letting you know. <laughs> and college also. Um, so you two being seniors, where? what are your plans after high school? Um, I plan to go to Grand Canyon University in Phoenix, Arizona. Oh, cool. And become a nurse. Nice. Mm. Um, I'm hopefully going to get to Brigham Young University in Provo until yeah. March 2nd and uh, have major in neuroscience and become a neurosurgeon. Wow. Wow. <laughs> that is impressive. <laughs> Please come back and tell me how that works out. Okay. Um, yeah, that's a that's amazing. I, I don't even know what to say to that. Um, here I am just a lowly dance teacher and (laughs) you want to be a neurosurgeon. Uh, cool. And then do you guys know what you want to do? Juniors, Brody and Dana? I mean, I know here's the thing. Let me just say, everyone will ask you, your life will take you in in the path that it wants to take you and you just have to be open to it. So, cause I never thought I would own a dance studio or be a dance teacher living in Tillamook where I grew up. Like that was never in my path and life took me that way. So, we will just take this with as life, you know, you got to make it happen. So, Brody, do you want to say something? What do you want to do? At this moment in time, <laughs> <laughs> not saying that this most likely might change, I want to try to be a history teacher. Hmm. 
but I'm also aiming for my um, business degree so then I can also go into culinary and open up a business in that as well. Very cool. But then again, I don't really know. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it wasn't until I was like 30 that I actually figured out what I wanted to do with my life. So don't, no pressure. What about you can move that back? Um, I'm hopefully going to go be like a vet or a vet tech. Nice. Working with animals. Yes. I thought about that too in my life. And then, I don't know, something else changed and I was in the corporate world and it just was too hard to do both, uh, to go to school and work in an office. Uh, I'm going to take another quick break and then we can resume our regularly scheduled, let's go through the rest of the events that are happening over the next week. Yeah. Cause it ends next Monday, right? Yeah. So yeah, a week. Uh, do you know one of those do it yourself kind of guys are always telling you to do it yourself? Well, sometimes that isn't the best solution. You're in luck, whether it's a leaky faucet, a complete bathroom remodel, or maybe replacing that septic system. Do yourself a favor. Call Clark's Plumbing. They're professionals. So they'll get the job done. Anything. New installations, upgrades that stopped up drain. You name it, they can do it. So the next time you hear do it yourself, do yourself a favor and call 842-5105. That's 842-5105 for the professionals at Clark's Plumbing. So I'm talking with the chairs of... Charity Drive. I don't mean physical chairs. I mean overall chairs, the senior and the juniors. Uh, so what do we... We went up through, what, Friday? We talked about everything going on through Friday. Yes. Mm-hmm. So what do we have going on this weekend? Because Saturday, there's a lot. And then Sunday, the all-school event should be super fun. So on Saturday, um, the freshmen have Jedi training at East School, which is really fun. They, like, train you to be, like, a Star Wars Jedi or whatever. Um... And that's from 9 a.m. to noon. And then we have a rummage sale at the THS cafeteria, and that's for the freshmen from 9 to 3. And then a car wash at the old Roby's store, and that's from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. And I feel like car washes, this is a great time for the weather to be nice because (laughs) when it's raining, you don't really notice how dirty your car is, and then the sun sun hits it and you're like oh my car is blue but now it's brown from dirt so yeah good time to have car washes yeah um and then the sophomores have a rummage sale at east school from nine to four and they're doing like a fun it's like a walk slash run Mm -hmm. so you can walk or run and that's at the junior high i I believe it's like a 5k yeah i think they said it was a 5k last week when they yeah And then they have take and bake dinner pickup at the parish hall. I don't know what that dinner is. I was literally about to ask that. Do yeah. you have any idea what the food yeah, is? It's like the take and bake what is it? Pickups. Enchiladas and lasagna. Enchil- oh, yeah. Okay. Enchiladas and lasagna. Yeah. Um, or lasagna. And that's from 2 to 5 p.m. And then the juniors have a tri tip dinner that night at the Nazarene Church from 4 to 7 p.m. And that's $15 per person or 28 per couple. And then they have the, is it WHO or who? Yeah, yeah. it's WHO. Mm-hmm. The w- I know, I think I said that show. last week. I'm like, what's who? And they're like, WHO. Is it World Horse Organization? It's or Western Horse. Western Men Horse, okay. Gotcha. Yeah, so they have concessions there. Um, and that's at the fairgrounds from 8 a.m. to noon. And then the seniors have Princess for a Day or Queen for a Day. I believe the difference is like Queen for a Day, you have to make an appointment. And then Princess for a Day, you can just walk in. Oh, I see. Um, that's at, okay. Is it, did it used to be avenues? Is that, yes. So it's, it's called now inner beauty salon, but it used to be called avenues and it's in that plaza across from Fred Meyer. Yeah. Yeah. And that's in the morning, nine to 11 queen for a day. You have to make an appointment or 11 to one walk-ins. Yes. Um, and then the seniors have a rummage sale at the Fairview Grange from eight to 4 PM and that's by donation. And then they also have a car wash at main street. Which I assume is just mostly all day, right? Yeah, it's usually like 9 or 10 to about 3. Mm-hmm. Cool. So that's all on Saturday. There's a lot going on Saturday. And then Sunday. So Sunday we have an all-school event that day. It's the hypnotist, hypnotist Tammy Barton. Show. Yeah, um, she comes to the fair every year and she decided that she could come down and help us. And it's going to be in the high school auditorium at 7 Adults are seven dollars and students are five, and there will be concessions. And super fun. I talked about it last week. <laughs> I've always wanted to be up there, but then at the same time, I have control issues, so I don't think I could. But it's super fun to watch. Yes. Yeah, real, real fun show. And for seven dollars, it's like nothing. <laughs> uh, and students are five. Yes. So that's at seven o'clock on Sunday. Yes, and the freshmen have a pancake breakfast at the parish hall from seven to ten. 
and the sophomores have a ride for the kids horse play day at the fairgrounds pavilion at 10. So we assume they have a bunch of horses that are coming in and they're going to be taking them like for lack of a better term pony rides. Yeah I think so. I think that's what it is. And then there is also a car wash. At- no, that's no, not what it is. Dana, hold on. She's shaking her <laughs> head. You gotta, you gotta correct me. What is it? It's like a like a multiple events. Like people will do like barrels, like keyhole, like bi wrangle. They're like a whole bunch of horse events where uh-huh. you like take your horse around like the barrel or a pole. Oh, and stuff like okay. That. So ride for the kids is just like a show for the kids at Dornbecker. Is that what the name means? Do you know? It's just basically like, I uh, yeah, just. Like, you're riding for the kids. Like, you're the play day's for the kids, but you're actually, like, going for, like, a competition. Like Right. Okay. Thank you for correcting. The money goes to the right. kids. Right. Yes. I got you now. So, it's a, yeah, it's a horse play day kind of com- barrel racing and stuff like that. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Correct. Okay. So, that's at the fairgrounds at 10 o'clock. Mm-hmm. And the juniors have a car wash at Main Street from 10 to 4. And the seniors are going to have bake sales at the Nazarene Church in St. Albans. The Nazarene will be from 8.30 to noon, and St. Albans will be from 9.45 to 11. And there will be a combined senior freshman mm. class dinner. It's going to be the Hawaiian dinner at the fairgrounds from 4 to 7. I'm telling you, you don't need to make a grocery list and eat, make your own food for the next week. And then on Monday, which is the last day, we have... We have an all-school event, which is the Stud Muffin Volleyball, and that'll be at the Tillamook High School Main Gym at 7, and that's by donation, and there will be concessions. Um, the sophomores have s'mores cookie mix in a jar pickup at J- jo- or St. John's Church from noon to 2. The juniors have cow poop bingo at Silver Stream Jersey Farm. That's $25 a ticket, and the winner gets $500. Which the winner is probably just being picked on on Monday. Is that right? Because mm-hmm. you can buy tickets now, right? Yeah. yeah. Um, the juniors also have a cheer and dance clinic at the high school at 10 a.m. to noon, and that's $10. Uh, the seniors have a fi- Can I ask a question about that? In years past, don't the kids usually perform at a basketball game? At so do you- Oh, at coordination. So Wednesdays coronation event they're going to perform okay seniors have the 50s dinner at the high school cafeteria from four to seven and that's eight dollars per person they have the elks cake auction at the elks lodge from five to seven and if that's you don't get a cake by today donation. tomorrow you can go do <laughs> elks cake auction next monday mm-hmm. they have the crispy cream donut pickup at the high school from 10 a.m to three and that's twelve dollars per dozen they also have the pig in a blanket pickup at the high school from 10 to 3, and that's 6 for 12. And the seven layer dip pickup <laughs> There's all at the kinds high school. Of food. <laughs> yep, all from kinds 10 of to food three. available. Uh, and I think you need to do you need to pre call ahead to order those things? Yeah. Uh, you need to call Amy at 812 1660 to order those things so they know how many to make. Uh, is there anything else we want to mention? Because we're just about running out of time. We want to talk about hooded sweatshirts real quick. The sweatshirts are available. So um, this year, every single class will be selling the Dornbecker sweatshirts, and they're going to be available at every single event for $30. Nice. I know one class has already ran out of smalls, so oh, if you okay. want a sweatshirt. What color are they? Tonight, I would yellow. Recommend yellow. Yellow. Mm-hmm. Gotcha. Yeah, gray sweatshirt with yellow. Oh, right. Gray sweatshirt with yellow writing. Um, do you guys keep track? Like, Do you know where everyone kind of is money-wise right now? I, we have no idea. No, it does. It's not till the end when every like you just kind of forget it and count it all up at the end. Is that right? Yeah. yeah who last, who won last year? You the last year's senior class won. Oh, okay. All right. Oh, that's right because they had like four years in a row. Yeah, they won all right? four years. Yeah. yeah. Uh, okay, so we're starting with a blank slate. Yes. The, technically, the freshman for this year could maybe beat everybody. Uh, is there anything else we need to mention? I mean, there's all kinds of, like, ongoing stuff. I think we kind of covered it all. Are we good? We're good, yeah. Okay. So go check out uh, Donkey Basketball this Friday at 7 o'clock at the gym. Uh, Let's see. Tomorrow we will have someone here from the Port of Tillamook Bay. Don't forget Senior Meals, noon every weekday at the Kiowana Community Center in Pacific City, as well as the Tillamook Senior Center at 4th and Stillwell. Cost is $3 for seniors and six seventy five for everyone else. Tonight from 5 to 7 is a Fat Tuesday Pancake and Sausage sausage Dinner at St. Albans Church. Adults are $8 and youth are 5 Friday night, there's a watercolor paint night for $10, 6 to 8 at Art Accelerated. 
Sunday at 7 at Camp Magruder, there is a free 50-voice choir concert. They have a bunch of choirs from around the area uh, go do a camp, and they have a little performance on Sunday at 7. Uh, there is, oh, don't forget, tomorrow is Valentine's Day. And there is an Act in Kindness Socks, Sweats, and Skivvies clothing drive happening right now. You can drop off your socks, sweats, and skivvies at any of the elementary schools and through, I think, next Wednesday. And, oh, I need to say happy birthday to Becky King. And right now I'm giving away, oh, before I give away pizza, I have to say those gift certificates expire tomorrow. So if you won a gift certificate and have not picked it up, you need to come get it because after tomorrow they don't make uh, the Heart Baker pizza anymore. Uh, so right now I'm giving away a gift certificate for one large Heart Baker pizza and cookie dough. First caller from Papa Murphy's, first caller at 842-4422 wins that gift certificate. And make sure you come pick it up. Ladies, thanks for coming in again. Yeah, thank, thank you. you. Nice yeah. to get a chance to actually talk to you a little bit more. <laughs> and thank you, Tillamook, for listening.